Well, hello, and welcome back to another edition of the challenge Oh, wait, 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 this is not a challenge -a thon I am missing my partner in crime, Ryan Francois. And without him, it's not really a challenge -a thon at all. It's just some asshole in front of a camera talking for eight or nine minutes. Or at least we could hope it was that short, but it never really is, is it now? Uh, I was just watching a couple of my YouTube videos on my other channel, ONS2K6, if anyone ever gives a shit. Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot. The only people that, people that actually watch this channel are my buddy Ryan, and he is the guy who's participating in the challenge with on videos, but you know what? It's inspiring. It's hilarious watching those wonderful moments and just uh, how they're frozen in time. It's great. Um... We go through all the different challenges that you see all over the internet. The saltine challenge, the which is the uh, crackers challenge. You have to eat six or ten crackers within a minute, which is really fucking difficult, but I managed to do it once. And I was impressed with myself. And yet my uh, uh, acquaintance, I wouldn't say friend, Ken LaRose, is like, Oh man! I didn't see what kind of crackers those were. Were they salted top? I don't believe they're salted top. You didn't do that challenge properly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are a real life troll. I hope you fucking die. No, I'm kidding. You're a wonderful. No, you're a horrible person. But yeah, I, I still don't wish death upon you. That's all. And I was thinking to myself, I put together a uh, movie night yesterday for the um, the fuck did I call the damn thing? Jesus Christ! It's only been a day. I can't really forget about that quickly. The nostalgia of 2012 movie uh, double feature, and I'm thinking to myself, I should put together a challenge of thon. It's wonderful with me and Ryan, always, of course. Mind you, the last time I did it, the acoustics weren't the greatest because there was a lot of echoing, and the uh, video was kind of shit, honestly. Uh, it was in my high-def camcorder, but uh, I guess I was a little too far back, and the focus wasn't appropriate on us, or the thing's just a piece of shit. I can't really tell! Sorry. I didn't mean to get that loud with you. But... I just, you know, I'm, I want to do another challenge with them. They're fucking fun. They're painful. They're horrible. They're miserable. It's just like sex, but it's something that you can look back on and laugh, unlike sex. And so I am thinking if I manage to get to, like, more than just me, Ryan, and Liz, you know, maybe Derek, <laughs> Yeah, right, fuck that, he's ever going to show up, uh, to come along and attend our my movie night, my double feature. It would be uh, kind of nice to try to coerce these people into uh, having another, or uh, attending our third challenge of I'm sure we have one every, like, two years. But it would be nice to have a little, uh, no, it wouldn't be nice to have it more frequently, but it would be nice to have more participants, people that are actually uh, interested in uh, joining in. Although, my ex-girlfriend, who was featured in uh, the last challenge of that we had, the bigger and badder challenge of of 2011, uh, it was it was very awkward seeing her in that video. Actually, I completely forgot really that she was even there. That is, uh, I I suppose that's attributed to the joke that I saw on the Onion News Network about Google having a good or uh, YouTube having a good video section where people actually review the videos uh, or watch the videos before they upload them. It's not really a common practice, I suppose. I see how that is. I'm like, hey, there's a couple of my videos. I'm going to put them together, throw them up on the internet, and that is good. Editing? Holy fuck, I need the proper software to do that. Shit. And th th that's why I think it's actually a vlog lore. Not lore, but uh, just how it, the unspoken law of vlogging, that you don't edit this shit. You let it go free, let it run. It's a natural course, and if there's a lot of mm, eh, eh, mm, in, going on in there, then that's just how the person is. They have to find a way to get past that and evolve pa or um, just grow so they're a lot more entertaining without constant edits. It's like being a news broadcaster, but you're an asshole. Yeah, that's more like it, I suppose. What I'm trying to say is that I want to eat cinnamon, choke on marshmallows, 
find whoppers and throw them in a glass with a straw. I want to eat raw eggs and not burp. I don't want to challenge milk because milk is greater than me. But I do still appreciate and love milk. And perhaps if I find the appropriate t-shirts, I will have frozen t-shirts as well. And that is what I would like to experience. Is a little, I, I did, not a little, I would like to have a challenge with, on, with an added member. That'd be kind of cool. It'd be interesting. It'd be fun, I think. Then again, I have been wrong.